All right, so I'm gonna open up it's advanced fueling. Go to drag tools, activate. Now this is gonna be for the two step. So, what happens when you activate the two step is this is actually a um, traction control right here. And this is relatively untested. And it's not good to use with turbo applications because it starts pulling timing um, based on wheel slip. And you don't really want to be doing that just kind of willy-nilly in a turbo setup. So what I always do is I set this to zero so it's not pulling any timing. And then I set it at the max RPM. That means that it can change up to 5,000 RPMs per second and it won't pull any ignition timing. So it basically takes this whole schematic out of the program because we're not trying to do that right now. There's no reason. All right, now I do the same thing with the activation. So I set it as high as possible. So all this stuff is basically taken out of the equation. What do you want your two steps at it? Should we just try something? 6,000, I'm guessing. Six. I don't need that. It's a good number. Should we go 65? Sure. All right, we're going to set the two step at 65,000 RPM. We're going to close all this stuff out and we're going to save the map again under boosted. We're going to say boosted two step. Two step. And then I always do one so you know it's the first edition. So now that we save that. I'm going to close the ECU editor out completely, reopen it, and just make sure that the changes were correctly saved. So we'll go to advanced settings, we'll go to drag tools. Yes, indeed, everything's saved. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is you know, we're going to power it up. I'm going to reconnect to the engine data. Yep, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to go back to engine data. I'm going to make sure that I am indeed getting communication. So my computer is being a little bee out, but make sure you're on the right COM port before you go to flash. And you'll know you're on the right COM port because you'll get a green sign up here when you establish communication. When you adjust the throttle, you will see the throttle change. Green, correct COM port. Always check that before you do a flash or upload. The map so now we're gonna close that I'm gonna switch the old school boost by Smith flasher to flash and we will flash the ECU alright so we just flashed I always close the ECU editor I typically then I go turn the bike off, let it chill for a second, let that flash sink in. That probably doesn't do anything, but makes me feel better. And we'll just see if it establishes communication. And it does. Do you want to just pull the throttle real quick? Yeah, go ahead and like, do you want to check it or? We're going to move this outside and then I'll show you what, uh, we'll see if the two-step took and then, uh, See if see what our panel is. Thanks. Mm -hmm.